This is Marty and uh, uh, his brother's timber. Uh, everybody out there knows that the timber has the gear problems going on, and, and we've got a couple of different people addressing them, including myself. Um, but he's done a, a, a whole different fix altogether. He went to the hardware store and uh, uh, got a couple of springs. Marty, you want to take over and explain what you did? or? I just bent loops around the edges and put the uh, heat shrink on there to make it sort of look like a cub because I'm a... I'm a sucker for a Piper Cub. And then with the stiffness of that spring, you probably got a lot better flex. And then it's towed in like a Cub. It's towed in like a Cub. Yeah, better than bending out. I've noticed the bending out, they kind of, they, they, they rip the, the tires and stuff off. I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that will work fine. Uh, I might want to push them out a little bit more. And the stiffness of the spring uh, is, is good enough to keep them from going back in rather than having to have those keeps like they've got, the sliding keeps yeah. on the on the dual set of springs that I, get tied I like it in like the middle. That. I like the tire boat in. Now what I'm doing on my on my Cub and on my uh, Prometheus, because I've got the similar problem, is uh, what I'm going to do is I've uh, uh, got bungee cord, black yeah. bungee. I'm just going to do a drill, 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 a uh, piece of bungee from top to bottom on both sides, and it's black. I'll put a little tie in the middle all of the day and yeah. then all it's going to do is be the assist for the springs that are there on the timber and then on the cub uh, there are no springs but that little that stiff spring can use that uh, stiff gear that it got it is pretty stiff but I took a, a just a slight bounce and it's still bent yeah so this one with just he, a little he extra bounces, he bounces I think it would be fine it doesn't yeah so that's another flight for the timber uh, make sure you glue in the battery trays, guys. The battery trays like to fall out on these. Um, I mean, without even crashing, they, they will pull out uh, just from G-force, I'm thinking. I don't know, because I've actually flown the plane, landed it, and the battery tray was loose. And all I was doing was turning and burning up there, and that should have been fine. Uh, other than that, the servos, I think, are a little on the cheap side. They could do something better with those. They should put Metal Gear servos yeah. in there. And then... Um, the ESC fried, and unfortunately, I think the reason it fried was because the motor had a little bit of resistance to it. Well, that's going to increase your amps. Well, now on the ESC, they put the silicone front and back, so the ESC can't breathe. So it wasn't handling the extra heat, and it burned a hole through the ESC. Like I say, when I got up to the plane, the plane was literally on. Uh, I mean, if I hadn't gotten walked right up there, if I stood there and talked and walked and you know, and just watched it, it, it was starting to smoke, and it would have caught fire. So, got up there, yeah, unplugged thing, it, and that stayed hot for a long time. This thing lands pretty good for Mike. Is that with the spring the way I did it? Yeah, they're awesome. The next one that's coming out is my uh, T-Clip 70 again. It's done. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see your T-Clips. The pictures you've sent me are gorgeous. Night, uh, all red and white? No, it's red and black. It, it, red and black. Oh, that's yeah, even cooler. I just got to tidy up the wires. Sounds awesome. I got gas to fire it up today. All right, let me get something out of my truck here so I'm not just sitting around here taking space. And uh, we'll get back to you guys. See you guys in a little bit. Later.